In this video I want to talk about what people call an island issue. The problem being this device here is what we're calling an island because it's by itself and can't communicate with these devices on the left hand side. I haven't put any particular names in because the device type is irrelevant. Um, so these three devices here can communicate with each other correctly. As you can see each device can communicate with the other two. This one however is too far away for the Bluetooth signal to be able to communicate between this device on the right and the closest device to it. You may be lucky enough to put yourself in a position where you can actually have your phone here and you could control this light and these lights here because the, the signal strength between the mobile device and the two different groups of luminaires would be okay but the luminaires themselves would not be able to communicate directly which is a waste of time especially as soon as you move the uh, the phone from the picture so the way around it is to do what people call a repeater so in this case if I was to put an extra device in at the halfway point it really doesn't matter what the device is but in general, I would recommend CBU ASD. And the reason I recommend that one is because it has the sig uh, it has a pretty much the better signal strength of all of the current Kasambi devices. What that then gives us is this. So it brings the device on the end back in to the mesh network through this device here. You don't need any load, lighting, or any sort of uh, any kind of load at all on the CPU SD or any other product, uh, Kasambi product, as long it's enough that it is simply paired with your network. That's it. And if we're really lucky, this might even happen as well. So by adding a repeater, that's how you overcome an island issue.